And good day, welcome to the ACES channel where we review out of the box videos of products that we sell and other interesting goodies. Today we will be having a look at a Motorola product. It is a Motorola mobile device and it is none other than the DM1400 radio. Although this is a VHF, the UHF is identical to this and it comes in the same box, it looks exactly the same, it's just the frequency split that is different. Okay, a plain recycled box and um, fairly large as you can see. Um, let's have a look at it. Inside the box we have the power cable which you can see immediately has a molded fuse in it. I like the molded fuse guys, I just have my reasons for saying so, it is nice and waterproof, blade fuses are easy to find and it's easy to replace, this is very good. I must say this is the one thing that I do like about Motorola, they have a decent amount of cable on it and yes I like I like the, the molded fuse holder, it's just I do like that. My experience have taught me that this is the best route to go. Okay, next up we have the, the bracket with a screw set inside, a normal fairly large metal bracket, fairly heavy duty, no plastic in it, metal mounting bracket. Next up we have the microphone which is a standard PMNN. Um, PMMN 4090A um, fairly um, universal and inside this package um, you have the microphone with the mic hook decent mic hook always Motorola supplies decent microphones um, with the screw set um, there are certain features um, that are available when you put the mic on the hook so therefore Motorola supplies this decent microphone hook um, a nice Motorola style microphone with a very positive click in it um, nice feel to it um, with a Motorola logo, logo of course in front um, there's an RJ type connector on the end with a piece of rubber to just maybe keep the dust and um, the water out. Okay, let's have a look at the radio itself. Inside the box, you can see that it's stored like that or shipped like that. Um, fairly neatly packaged. Um, once again, you can feel it is a heavy piece of equipment. Motorola is always believed that they have lots of metal in their mobile radios for lots of cooling. Similar to a lot of the newer other brands, there is enough um, ventilation place here. Um, they do have two little screw holes here. I'm not too sure. I've never seen it being used anyway, um, but I seem to notice it now. Um, on the back, they have a, a BNC connector. Which is, which is good in the one way. Other manufacturers sometimes use um, UHF or what we call PL259. BNC is also good. Um, nothing wrong with that. Um, I just know that some of the guys prefer UHF. The advantage of a BNC though over the UHF is a UHF has a tendency to, to, to come loose if it's not decently fitted. Um, a BNC is a bayonet type fitting. You push it in turn it and twist it and it clicks in position it will not come loose so Motorola has probably learned um, with experience that that works best and that's why they have standardized on that we have the accessory connector here um, this is so Motorola they bring out all the connections for us um, a lot of these pins are programmable some of them are not it makes it easy to make a back-to-back -back type repeater but also to interface into other equipment um, all these pins or most of them are programmable it is covered by a little rubbery um, dust cover if you like um, which is sometimes difficult to get back um, there you go okay the power lead um, not fitted on the radio itself 
but on a piece of wire like this uh, a few reasons for that is that it may sit in a in a dashboard uh, where it is easier to put the power there um, then try and get your hands in behind there and mount it and also from a braking point of view I think Motorola have learned that this is the best way to go okay on the side um, you can see the mounting holes for the bracket on the side is inside the chassis itself and on the front we have um, two programmable buttons volume up and down channel up and down and a switch to switch it on with okay the microphone is a simple fit to just push in there the dust cap covers most of it um, and if you put the rubber over it it is fairly waterproof or water resist and dust proof especially for mining and gaming applications where the radio is often um, exposed to very dust and, and moisture pipe conditions um, front facing speaker which I do like and as mentioned before Motorola have got the years of experience that this is the way to go um, other manufacturers often put the speaker on the top or on the bottom which is problematic as you especially in a tr truck that is uh, um, loud um, you will not get sufficient sound out of it and you do need to then mount a, uh, another external speaker this is sufficient I know it is quite loud on the Motorola's but if this is not good enough you can always wire another speaker in here alternatively you can wire a speaker or an audio output into a sound system like a radio mute for instance you can mute a radio um, once there's an incoming call um, and maybe an audio accessory into a radio of some sort so yes they they really have done a lot to standardize this on all of their radios um, this is the entry level radio uh, in this case this is an analog with a digital option um, but the digital version looks exactly the same it is just a software key that you load there you go the Motorola DM1400 VHF and UHF will be the same I'll put a few specs in um, in the description below for everyone to see and to read up on it but there you go Motorola has always been my all-time favorite uh, because these guys have been in the game so long they've researched most of it and they understand this industry thanks for watching make sure to like subscribe and to share these videos um, if you've liked and subscribed it you will receive the updates and um, see the new videos as they become available thanks for watching make sure to subscribe